my name is Sophia Balderes. I'll be talking about study my research methods class at St. Edward's Perform this fall 2017. We decided on the topic of social media and psychological well-being. Narrowing this topic down, we decided on how does positive and negative affects on life satisfaction correlate to social media's passive and active usage. In this current study, we hope to get a better understanding of social media's effects, both positively and negatively. There's an emotional effect social media has on people, gender, and their overall being in life. We hypothesize for this first study a significant correlation of passive social media use and high life satisfaction score, while active social media use having a low satisfaction score correlated. Our active and passive social media use and life satisfaction research was done in two parts. Study 1, a correlation, and study 2, an experiment. In methods for study 1, we had 450 anonymously recruited participants from online social network sites. 81% were females and 185 were males. Study 2 had 130 anonymously recruited participants, again from online social network sites. And in both studies, the participants were voluntary, answering free will with no incentive received. In our measures, we used social media, asking the participants by questionnaire about their active and passive use on the allotted social media sites. In both study 1 and 2, we used the Spain scale by Denier for the assessing of positive and negative feelings. The Spain scale is a 12-item scale with six positive and negative items for both the feelings of negative and positive. In both study 1s and study 2s, we use life satisfaction by Denier again. It's a five-item short instrument designed to measure global cognitive judgments of satisfaction with one's life. Study 1 and 2 had a demographic and background characteristics. They were completed in the questionnaire, including information of first language, age, sex, and ethnicity. But in Study 1, rather than sex, we asked about their gender. For Study 1's procedure, we, the researchers, set up a study in Qualtrics, and made a survey containing consent form, social media survey, and a positive-negative affect scale and life satisfaction scale, as well as the demographic information and a thank you for participation. The participants would find the survey through the social media networks we sent it out on. They would consent to the survey and complete the survey and all the other scales and satisfaction scales. Study 2 followed the same procedures for the Qualtrics survey, but with a change in the demographics for gender being asked. Then an experiment would be done based on their active or passive randomization for each of the participants conducting the survey. For study one and two's data analysis plan for pre-registering, the researchers excluded those who did not complete the survey and who were not fluent English speakers. We would then correlate active and passive social media use with one of each of the three psychological well-being, positive, negative, and life satisfaction. In study one's results, the results showed a correlation in small negative effect on passive social media use with positive affects, as well a significant negative correlation between life satisfaction and passive social media. Our Pearson's correlation used to show the correlated effects and usages showed a significant effect on affects to both positive and negative correlated to media use. Study 2's results, the results showed a negative significant interaction is depending on the gender using it. Results show as well an increased negative for the females with active use while decreased negative effects for males using the active social media. In our factorial ANOVA, we performed a two-way analysis of variation wielding a interaction effect for the gender and social media.